you know, we have some uh, ice out there tonight. We've made it back down into the mid-30s, even colder. But the next few days, this might look a lot more like a swimming pool as we look down here on Carmel at the Chris Kindle Market uh, scene. And that's coming with some major changes in our temperatures that we'll talk about here in just a moment. Right now, we sit at 34 degrees, and things are actually beginning to bottom out now. We have a wind out of the south at 8 miles per hour. That's bringing in some more mild air, and that's what's going to keep us from getting too cold tonight. We do have clear skies. Typically, when you have those clear skies, you cool off more, but that south wind is doing enough work to kind of counteract that. The reason we have the south wind is because of this high pressure system, which is sitting right now to our southeast, and is slowly going to move farther to our east as we head through the rest of the evening, which means on the backside of that high pressure system, we're pulling warm air out of the south and bringing it farther north. That's the warm up, and you can see our wind right here a little bit stronger to the west of us, but that just means that the warm up is a little more efficient to the west of us. Somewhere in uh, Des Moines, Kansas City, and Tulsa, at least, this stretch here, we've seen temperatures rise as much as 10 to 15 degrees in a 24 hour span. And again, as this uh, stronger flow of southerly air works its way in here tomorrow, we're going to see a similar kind of warm up with temperatures really beginning to jump. Temperatures, speaking of, you can tell the difference just by looking at our map right now, are about 10 degrees warmer in this corridor here to our west. And we're likely to see that 10 degree jump in temperatures a little more uh, steadily, but certainly it will see, we'll see it happen over the next two days. And tomorrow will be the start of that. Temperatures begin the day in the lower 30s, but we find our way back into the 50s. In fact, perhaps even mid 50s in some spots tomorrow. That puts us a good amount above our average high temperature. And then even as we head into to Tuesday. We have more warming ahead with temperatures perhaps reaching the mid to upper 50s on Tuesday. So some very unusual but nice changes to our weather here in mid-October. And a lot of this comes with sunshine too. You know, we did get to 60 a couple times this month, but almost all those times, including this weekend, we've seen rain come with that warm-up. And a lot of times we've hit that high temperature at midnight, but it's going to be different this time. We have the sun now, and tomorrow you can expect the sun to be out for the most part, and that will allow us to reach those high temperatures, those very mild high temperatures in the middle of the day. So you'll get to enjoy it outside with some sun and some dry weather. Here's Tuesday as we head to the day. Again, the sun stays out, but it's Wednesday. That's when things will return to a bit of a cloudier, maybe even a spotty shower kind of pattern that we've been dealing with really the past uh, couple 60 degree days. But tomorrow, a great day to get out there. A cool start, but we find our way back up into the 50s later on. A nice mix of sun and clouds, but the sun should win out most of the day. And then as we look ahead at the rest of the week, you can see temperatures here find their way back to the 60s by Wednesday. That may come with a sprinkle. And then Thursday and Friday, more unsettled weather, some showers, maybe, maybe a rumble of thunder as temperatures fall back to those more seasonable levels by next weekend.